This is Cheryl Fortune. Thank you for watching The Message of Hope TV. Thank you so much for watching another episode of A Message of Hope. I'm your host, Christina Lockett. I'm just bubbling over with excitement today. We call each other media sisters. <laughs> I have my media sister with me today. Please welcome to the show, Dr. Dawn Paul. Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm so glad to have you here today. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Yes, I want to start off by saying we actually met on her show, mm -hmm. her radio broadcast. I was one of her guests, um, just talking about my books, being an author, and it was during the season of October, um, was it? Domestic Awareness Month, I believe. I think so. Yes, and so we met and we just stayed in contact, and she's been, of course, on the Message of Hope radio broadcast, and mm -hmm. we've connected, and we call ourselves media sisters because we are media sisters. Yes. So let's first start off talking about you being a media queen. Oh, honey. How did Do you we get say to queen? That? Yes. How did you get to that journey? Oh, God. Uh, it's funny because I wanted to be an attorney. Um... And I only wanted to be a lawyer because what else do you do when you don't know what you want to do? Okay. You know? But uh, I would watch the O.J. Simpson trial in high school. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's how I'm going to be on TV because I would see Johnny Cochran and all the attorneys. Yes. And I'd be like, that's how I'm going to get on TV. Okay. I always wanted to be on TV. They call me Oprah in high school. Okay. That was my nickname because I talk so much. But uh, I said, that's how I'm going to get on TV. And then they're going to see me and I'm going to be an attorney just to make money up until I get my TV show, because then they're going to see me weigh in on a court case, and they're going to give me a show like Judge Magnus. Okay. And like, so that's what I said. Uh, but fast forward, you know, went to law school um, for a year, and wasn't it. So what was I going to do? So I started off as a reporter, you okay. know, uh, at a magazine, writing. And then I started getting in front of the camera and liking it. Okay. Um, and then somebody, a couple years after that, you know, reporting and then writing and then doing TV interviews somebody said I was thinking about you I have a nephew I have a radio station and he needs a co-host you would be perfect that is when I started doing radio too so it was a blessing and it because I would always say I want to do TV and radio why can't I do both yes and it was it was God it was nothing but God it really was mm -hmm. so it was it was it was a blessing so, I mean, you can look back over your life and see how you had one way that you wanted to go, mm -hmm. but God truly directed your path. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it was still TV. But he's like, you're not going to be a lawyer. You don't need to do that. You need to do this. Yes. So, you, you got to follow what he tells you, really. Exactly. Well, one thing that we both represent is positive media. Mm -hmm. It's enough of the negativity. And we've kind of had conversations about that. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. most oh, yeah. of the negative is is plastered everywhere oh, yeah. and sometimes the positive media it falls short mm -hmm. especially even in mainstream media let's talk about that that positive versus negative type media uh negative media it is what it, i mean it's here look and the and i always tell people people are like well why is that on tv because people are watching it mm -hmm. and this is what we always say numbers don't lie if it wasn't getting views if it wasn't getting hits if it wasn't getting listenership it would not be on the air mm -hmm. and it would not be here. So don't watch it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Don't give them numbers. Um, but look, Dr. John is, is guilty of watching that stuff every now and then. I watch my, you know, mm -hmm. my reality TV every now and then. But, uh, you know, we just have to keep doing what we do. Mm -hmm. And in anything you're doing, you just have to continue to be alive. You can't do what everybody else is doing. Be so, different. Yeah. Be Dare to be different. Because you're not better. We're not better than anybody else. It's right. just we're different and we choose not to. I choose not to curse in my media gift because it's a gift yes it's not of me it, it's a god gave it to me and i just i'm not gonna do it mm -hmm. and people respect that and i don't walk around talking about oh i don't cuss and i'm dead no 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 you just live your life in a way and people will follow suit people don't you know you don't have to go around making announcements and and just just live and and do live in your gift and your craft and people get it and they respect it mm -hmm. and that's all you got to do you don't have to make announcements just live it and i that's agree with do. you yeah I you definitely know, Christina. agree i agree <laughs> because um you know being in ministry being a minister mm -hmm. i don't go around saying i'm a minister or with a sign i'm a right. minister prophetess christina like you know right. i just love my life i be who i am and like you said people see it right they see it and then of course we birth a message of hope yeah because at the end of the day that's what i want people to receive and yes. see and so when we say positive media it does make a difference but you made a point that i want to come back to mm. you know we talk about the negative media and mm. a lot of people um say man it's just so much and it's but if you're watching it i, I just kind of want to highlight that again mm. um 
and I won't mention the name, but it was a big push to um, um, boycott a certain television broadcast. Right, Which a little. One? I don't, I'm I don't not know. gonna say the name, but a little. Oh, while I know ago, what you're talking about. Right. A little while ago. Oh, okay. But I'm mentioning this point at this time because I want everyone who's watching to understand the power that you have, mm -hmm. you know, to have more positive media or more negative media. Um, what you want to watch, it can come forth if you turn it off yeah, or turn it on or support it, mm -hmm. share it, tell others about the Dr. Don yeah. show, you know, about a message of hope. We have more power and authority than we realize. We do. And, and you know, it's, it's really about... Oh, and it's funny because it's just, and people respect that you don't have to curse to have good content. Yes. You don't. And and you really don't in the end, because I mean, look, I used to curse like a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. I used to curse like a sailor, so I can't say I know, you know. Right. And it was so bad. I didn't even know it was so bad till I was in the kitchen with my mama just having a conversation and I was just cursing and she said, what are you talking? I said, I didn't even realize. I mean, oh, it was that bad. It was flowing Yeah, out. so I said, I got to watch my mouth. So really, it was a few years ago. That's how I said, don't think. And every now and then, I may slip up and say an utterance. You know. <laughs> but uh, overall, I try to be conscious of it. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, oh, yeah. yes. Well, you know what? I wanted everyone to kind of get a chance to know you a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited about what you're doing right now. And mm -hmm. I want to say congratulations on oh, your new journey. You. Congratulations on your next step of faith. Mm -hmm. All right. And for those who don't know, go ahead and tell us about your new journey, new step of faith. You know, it's uh, I, Dr. Don doesn't work a nine to five. You know, I'm all about that, man. It, it's freedom. It is freedom, and God said it's time. He said it is okay because I took. It was June the first. Okay. Um, and I said okay. God, no, it was like two weeks before June first. Okay. And I said, God, I want to quit my job. Okay. June the first. Okay. If you don't want me to quit my job, let me know this within two weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he will give you the answer overnight. He'll give it to you in a minute. You know? Yes. But I said, let me, because I'm the kind of person, I'll move when I want to move sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I said, you got to speak to me. Mm -hmm. June the 1st came around, and he didn't tell me not to do it. Okay. My conscience was clear. I had peace. So um, it was just that the things I was doing was getting neglected. Mm -hmm. And I, I just, it was time for me to start living my dreams 24 hours Glory to God. And, and it was a blessing. And I have not looked back. God has blessed me. Um, but don't be a fool now. Dr. Don saved her coins. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't just quit. You know what I mean? You got to have your money saved. Yes. You know, and you have to make those preparations. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to have wisdom in yes. everything you do. So make sure you got some coins. And they say at least a, a year's living expenses. Yes. A year's worth of living expenses. So, you know, thank God for that. Mm -hmm. But, um... It's just I haven't looked back and I feel good. Feel good about it. I wanted waking up in the morning doing me and not doing for somebody else. Mm -hmm. That is what it's about. Mm -hmm. And it's never, it's not about the environment. The, it was nothing like that. It was a great environment, but it wasn't for me. It was mm -hmm. for somebody else. Mm -hmm. And it was time for me to start living my dreams for myself. So that is my message to people always. A message of hope. Yes. If you feel like you're in a, I don't care if you like your environment or not. If it ain't you. You need to move. Sometimes we get too complacent, too comfortable. But my spirit was just, I'm like, God, I want to be doing my stuff. Yes. Or having to leave in the middle of the day to go do my stuff. And then go back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I was on such a high. You do feel a high. And you don't want to go back. And I, you know, but I'd be like, okay, God. But I left the right way. Things were done the right way. Um, it was no hard feelings. Mm -hmm. It was just, you have to move on. Nothing can ever stay the same. And if you know he's called you to something greater, yes, you got to do it. You make me feel like crying. Cry. You <laughs> should cry. I cry. <laughs> but, I, I, you know, but, but if you like your job, there's nothing wrong with that. If you mm -hmm. love your nine to five, stay on your nine to five job. There's nothing wrong with that. If you like being a teacher, if you like being an accountant, stay and do it. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me, entrepreneurship full because I was an employee newer, but now I am an entrepreneur. Yes. So if you have it in you, you got to do it. But if you like where you are, stay where you are. But mm -hmm. want to, you know, always want to move up. But you just got to follow your heart and what God tells you. So what is your dream? Oh, honey, uh, the sky's the limit. I don't think I even have limits anymore. It's just That's good. Net, radio, TV on on high levels, national, international levels, making sure my voice is 
reaching people, mm -hmm. my life coaching business, my media business is successful, and I, I always follow what he wants me to do, seriously. Mm -hmm. And I don't ever veer off and we stay humble, and you stay humble. Mm -hmm. I would definitely want to talk about your life coaching business. Mm -hmm. You know, um, within the last few years, uh, many people are opting to get a life coach, okay? Mm -hmm. But what is a life coach? What does a life coach offer? How do I know I need a life coach? Well, life coaches provide support. Uh, we do not give advice. We give support. So, for instance, if you say, uh, you know, Dr. Dawn, hey, I am, I want courage to quit this job and to work at another job or to start my own business, I walk you through that process. Or if you are divorced and you're like, Dr. Don, I want to start dating again, but I'm scared and I don't know how, I will support you through that process. Okay. Life coaching could be three months, six months, a year. It just depends because the truth is everybody doesn't have family and friends they can go to with certain things. Okay. So that's where life coaches come in. Sometimes you can't tell your mama, your family, because they'll be like, girl, what's wrong with you? You know what I mean? Right. But, but we are that trusted support system mm -hmm. for you, non-judgmental. Mm -hmm. Um, that trusted, that trusted confidant and support system for you to help you win because that's what we're about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great mm -hmm. to help you win. And when you said, you know, t telling it to someone else, mm -hmm. and yeah, sometimes people just can't see that dream. Yeah. Maybe because they've never experienced it right. or no one in their family has ever mm -hmm. done anything like that. For example, I, I'll speak from personal experience. Many of the things I do is so big. Yeah. And to me, I'm thinking this is not big enough. This is not it. But, but it's so yeah. big mm -hmm. to them. It's like, okay, how do you do that? So then, of course, you would need to talk to someone that can see the big dream, the mm -hmm. big picture, and then not only see it, but help you navigate in that Absolutely. direction. That's important. Yeah. That's important because you can't share everything with everyone. Everybody don't get it, mm -hmm. but really, uh, I don't make don't make announcements. I, I don't make announcements. Make announcements after it's done. Glory to God. That's why you can't share everything with everybody because, and and this is my personal. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't make announcements number one because God makes the announcement. Mm -hmm. And I post it on Facebook. That's that's the announcement when okay. it's done, when it's confirmed, not when I'm talking about it and planning it out. That ain't when you make announcements because, see, this is the preparation phase, and you've got to be able to, it's got to be you and God, not you and 5,000 Facebook friends. Okay. You know what I mean? That's so I, I'm just saying it needs to be between you and, and the Lord and you and God, and I don't have time to be, I don't need comments about it. And, yes, thank God people are, are positive. Mm -hmm. But it's just I got to focus on me and God in this phase. There's a lot of things, Christina, we could say we're working towards, and y'all mm -hmm. pray for me because I'm working towards, no. God got it. Mm -hmm. He's the agent, the manager, the, the you know what I mean? You're right. And, and the support system, mm -hmm. I will make the announcement after it's confirmed. After it's confirmed. So that's what we do. You know, you make the announcement to me, your life coach, and we will talk it through and navigate. And then you make the announcement on social media mm -hmm. when the time is right. Because you've got to focus on getting it straight. Mm -hmm. Because if it doesn't happen, guess what? You're going to be embarrassed. People are going to be like, what happened to that big deal you said you were signing? Mm -hmm. You know? And they will ask. Because mm -hmm. they're watching. They're watching. And you'd be surprised who's <laughs> watching. And not to support, mm -hmm. but to watch. Just just to watch. Just to see what you're doing. Woo. You know? But but I don't have time for that. It's me and God in this thing. We, and I'll make y'all y'all follow me on my timeline. And that's when the announcement made. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's all you got to do. Mm -hmm. But But I think a lot of us get excited. And there's nothing wrong with sharing things on social media. I, I'm not against that. But it can be a little bit uh, to where some are, and this is just my opinion. Right. Are don't don't seek that attention from social media. Mm -hmm. You know, we just interviewed a guest that mm -hmm. mentioned that social media, um, how it kind of gives you that vibe, that yeah. feel good feeling. Yeah. And you don't necessarily need that. He no. said you have to find that within yourself or with your relationship Absolutely. with God. Absolutely. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that as well. Oh, yeah. It's important because many people watching right now, mm -hmm. that's their high. Uh, yeah. And it, it's, but a lot of people, are, that's why we have to pray for people. And my tagline is no judgment, just realness. Because people, everybody doesn't have that support system. And even though they're 40, 50, seem like they got it going on, there's a lot of people that are empty that really don't have that support system. And that's why they're doing so much bragging. And, and, you know, a lot of people that are confident, they sitting in a mansion and you don't even know it. Because they ain't got to tell you. They're confident in who they are. Right. You know, 
but I get because I'll promote on social media for events I'm doing and my show. You know, you do that. Yes. But when it becomes where you need people to validate you and like it, and and then that's kind of when you need to kind of look. Why am I doing this? Yes. Why am I am I doing this just to market this? Or am I doing it because I, I get a feeling out of it, and it, it's it's an emptiness inside, but and emptiness, I need yes. that, that fullness, and that's yes. when you, yeah, that's why God is so important in our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? When you talk about God and Him ordering your footsteps, mm -hmm. even um, as you take this next step of faith, um, how is your relationship with the Lord that is really benefiting everything that you do and everything that you are? Uh, this time as well is because I'm gonna be honest, my prayer life was okay it was always good but when you're so busy but now I can have a better prayer time I can go to Bible study on Wednesday afternoon uh didn't go today but you know I'm just saying but uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know but now and then my prayer time it can be longer and really this is preparation for the next phase yes so you can just talk to him uh but he's always with me amen thank God he's always with me and I feel at peace girl I got up this morning feeling good I feel like kicking up my I'm telling when you get up in the morning for yourself that's a good feeling working in the bed with your computer ain't no better feeling I don't have to go do what anybody tells me anymore it's, it's now the work it, it's a hustle it, I ain't gonna lie but it feels good because it's for you mm -hmm. whatever you're doing make, make sure you're doing it you're, you're just you're enjoying it mm -hmm. yes. you're enjoying it well you know what I want to talk about your radio broadcast mm -hmm. Um, definitely for those who are watching never had a chance to hear your radio broadcast what's the platform um, because you do have a variety of guests mm -hmm. but I would love for you to share oh god uh, we just talk about everything um, I'll interview guests about bossing up you know let's boss up encouraging them to do better to do more I'll talk about women's sexual health issues uh, you're gonna be on the show soon talking about women who have overcome divorce mm -hmm. uh, you and a, another sister will be coming on sharing that because you got a lot of people that need encouragement um, and really then then I just answer audience life and love questions mm -hmm. you know and then I, I give positivity to people but I like covering all kind of topics it doesn't matter anything that's gonna give people education parents kids uh, you know that kind of thing just it, it could be parents and kids. You know, I've had child stars and their parents come in. And let's talk about this industry. You want your child to be in this industry and you allowing your child to do things to make it. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how your child can make it without you selling your child out like that. Yes. You know, so that's what we, I just try to, we always do it in a way that's no judgment. Mm -hmm. But it's very subtle. You know, where you kind of get it and makes people think different. So that's sense. just what it is. I yeah. love it. I love it. And I love the platform. Mm -hmm. I definitely love the platform. And that's uh, being a part of a, being a media personality, mm -hmm. you do host events. Okay. And I love the fact that you just recently hosted the event with the survivors. Oh, share yes. about that. Because I know we have, they have some upcoming events. So share about hosting. Survivors with Voices is a, an amazing organization. Uh, it was founded by Alyssa Jones. Mm -hmm. She is a survivor of sexual abuse. So she has a event, it, and it's starting. This is how God works. She's a believer too, and it started out in one room. Now she's got a gala, and this year is a tour. The tour. So with Michelle A. Yes. Uh, so Michelle A. shared her story of domestic violence with Dr. Dre and Suge. You know. Yes. But um, so God is blessing it, and she's going on tour. And I was there with her from day one, and she could have picked anybody to host. She said, "No, I'm riding with you." Anybody that rode with her since day one. She said, if you have get, not given me a reason not to keep you rolling with me, <laughs> I'm going to stick with the people, you know. Because it is about the support of people that really see the vision. They have to see the vision. Mm -hmm. I was blessed people. to have her on a Message of Hope radio oh, broadcast. Yeah. But I wanted you to share about that because this is a part of being a media personality. Mm -hmm. you know. And do you find that people may reach out to you for certain events that you don't feel comfortable participating with? I have had a couple of times... Yeah, one time I had a friend, and see, your friends know you, so they don't judge you when you tell them. But she asked me to host, uh, it was a music showcase, which is great, you know, because I love artistry, I love music. Look, Dr. Dunn listen to all kind of music, you know what I mean. Okay. But um, I said, well, you know, and God is, as God gives you wisdom and speaks to you, he'll kind of tell you to ask questions. See, when you're thirsty, and I was at a point where I was so thirsty, I'd get in front of anybody's microphone. Okay. <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? Okay. But when. God kind of works on you and, and 
gives you that wisdom and your prayer life is a little stronger and he can get in your mind and talk to you. He says, ask questions. So I always ask, if I know you, I'm not going to ask questions. Just put my name on the flyer. Let me know when to be there because I know it's going to be right. in, with my brand. Yes. But forget the brand, my character and who I am. Uh -huh. But uh, it was a showcase and I said, well, the, and I said, okay, this is cool. Dr. Dunn can have some music showcase. This is something different. But I said, okay, God said, ask the question. Are the artists going to be cursed? Because it's a showcase where anybody can get up there. Yes. You know, it's music. Yes. And these artists, they should be free. They should, you know, if that's it's, what you want to do. Right. But, um... I said, then I can't do it. I said, if they're allowed to curse, I just can't do it. And she understood, because she's a friend. Mm -hmm. But I came, Dr. Dunn came to me, okay, y'all, next is so-and-so, and, -so, and she's talking about, you know. Right. But I, I can't introduce that. You yes, know what I mean? Yes. So it's just, you know, was, like I said, I listen to secular movies. I don't have a problem with it. But but some things, you know, but I try to listen to the clean version. As yes, I, I understand. But you have to watch the space that you are in. If we've been called to be lights, you can't be acting like them you have to be different but sometimes that doesn't mean you have to be in that circle if you're not in, if you're in that circle and can't be different then you're not really a light mm -hmm. you're just playing the game with everybody else you're yes. just doing what everybody else is doing but it, it, you know i look i um that, that's really you just have to be conscious and aware and that's it nothing wrong with doing secular stuff i've done it before but it's it's clean where mm -hmm. we all win and people respect the brand and, and what I do. So, yeah, that's all you got to do. Ask questions and walk away from it if it ain't right. If it's not for you and it's not something God wants you to do, that's you right. should be comfortable in saying no right. and keep moving. Right. You yes, have to. yes. You know, I feel like we're talking about so much because we do so much. But when you were mentioning, uh, when you were just talking just now and talking about what you can just say no and walk away from, it made me think about branding. Mm, yeah. It made me think about branding. And I know that you, you're somewhat an expert. Uh, share a little bit about branding. Maybe a couple of tips. Oh God. Well, I um, I actually uh, my media company. We do public speaking coaching, media coaching, um, writing, editing services, things like that. We don't deal with branding, but for what I the experience I've had with branding and my own brand and PR friends and things like that. Your brand is who you are, and you have to stay do things that are in line with your brand. And, and your brand is who you are. And believe it or not, even though you're not a... You don't have to be a celebrity to have a brand. You can yes. be a teacher with a brand. I'm glad you mentioned brand. that, yes. It ain't always about being on the mic and who's on TV. Yes. That's a brand. No, you're a brand when you go to the grocery store. Yes. You're a brand and your social media tells people where you are mm -hmm. before anything else. That's mm -hmm. your resume now. Yes. People don't look at your... Okay, send us your resume. No, they're looking up you up yes. on social media. Mm -hmm. And they can find you. Don't think because you have it blocked and you can only accept... No, they, they can, can find you. you. Even your inbox messages. Yes. Because I, I read about a recent incident that happened mm. with some college students. Oh, wow. Um, their inbox messages mm. were inappropriate. Mm. Wait, their inbox messages? I was blown away. I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't want to interrupt. No, no, no. Inbox right. messages. So for those watching, especially the young people, uh, you know, teenagers, young people in college, they see your inbox messages as well. Oh, they see everything. Mm -hmm. Nothing is confidential. Mm -hmm. And like my mama said, best advice she ever said, she said, don't put anything in writing you don't ever want anyone to see. No text messages, no nothing through email. And there are times when I have to stop myself and I'm like, oh, let me text this person real quick and just because, you know, people will tell you about somebody and you'll want to be like, girl, you right. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I said, Dr. Dunn can't do it. But I, let me call you, though. I'll call you. I just ain't going to put it in the text. I, I don't want AT&T ever, ever printing this out. and get. But but I, I call you. We'll talk about it, girl. But no, it's just anything you don't want anyone to know, mm -hmm. don't have it in black and white. Okay. Not your inbox. Yes. Not your text messages, mm -hmm. not your emails. You don't want anyone, if that's not how, it, it, you know, because what you posted two years ago may not be how you are now. That's but that's good. what you have to think about. Even stuff we post now, Christina, we may not even feel that way two, three years from yes. now. So, yes. you know, and there are times I want to post stuff. Venting. Venting or do a video kind of going there because yes. it, it deserves to be gone there. Mm -hmm. But that's not what I was called to do. That's, that's not what you were called to do. Yes. And I'm like, okay, let me not do it. I'd get a lot of more hits though. I guarantee that. But see, that's the devil. That's that the, the devil. Well, that goes back to what we started yeah. off talking about that positive and negative. Right. They you feed on the it. negative. Yeah, they do. So I said, I, we can't do it. I just can't. There are times Dr. Don want to go there and be like, man, if I weigh in on this. 
situation mm-hmm. with this mistress and this politician. <laughs> I bet I could get 50,000 hits on this bit. Yes. But I don't need to be talking about no side piece. That ain't what Dr. Dunn has been called to do. No. <laughs> I'll leave that to somebody else. Yes. So you have to be conscious and aware. And even though you want to do it or post that meme or repost that stuff, even though it's funny, sometimes mm-hmm. I'm like, I can't get into it. And you definitely have to be conscious of it before you do it because in your first thought, it's no big deal. You share, yeah. you comment, then you come back and be like, oh, okay, wait a minute. You know, and that's what happened with Vicky Yohe. Yes. Know? And so even when I had her on A Message of Hope, yeah. I had to think about it. Okay, well, how would that reflect on A Message of Hope mm-hmm. and my brand? But God released me and said, no, let her talk about yeah. what she did and how it happened. And, um... Absolutely. It was a learning experience for all of us, yeah. especially those in media, because that was around the time of when things happened with Kim Burrell. Mm-hmm. So it really was a learning experience, and it's reiterating what you're saying right now yeah. as it relates to building a brand. And I'm glad you made the comment because I think when people say brand, they thought they think about celebrities or Everybody's I'm sorry, professional. Brand. But right. yes, I'm glad you said that. Everybody, everyone is a brand, and that's important. That's right. My brand is I don't talk politics on my page. Yes. I don't talk uh, the latest police foolishness with them uh, doing what they're doing to to our people in the community. Mm -hmm. Yes, those issues are important, but that's not my, that's not what I have been called to do. Yes. The most controversial thing you're going to see on my page is maybe Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. That's about it. (laughs) You know, but I don't post about Republicans and Democrats and the police and and all this stuff because if you want to, my page is not for that. Mm Mm-hmm. That that's just not what I was called to do. Now sometimes I've shared videos, you know, on Don Paul, but not on Doctor Don because that's not what that that is about. That's important. Um, so and it's it's not like I don't care. I care. Mm-hmm. Trust me, I care what's going on in this world. Mm-hmm. But maybe I'll post it on my personal page in a certain way. Mm-hmm. But really, I don't even I stay out of it because if I if you're not educated enough about certain things, you need to leave that alone. When yes. you start talking about politics. And these heavy social issues, if you're not educated on people will come out the woodwork and start commenting, then you gotta go back and forth. You know what I mean? So before so you good. post about that stuff, I, I don't even get into it. I just I stay out of it. Not mm-hmm. that I don't care. Because I do care. And I have interviewed people about those issues. Yes. But those that are well versed, they know what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. They're not coming from a place of emotion, they're coming from a place of experience and education in it. Yes. Um so but really you just have to know your brand and I don't feel guilty about it take these last couple of moments to share with everyone how they can connect with you listen to your radio broadcast and um, follow you as you host major events things like that you can follow me on twitter and instagram at the t-h-e-d-r d-a-w-n follow me i will follow you back so much for tuning in to another episode of message of hope remember to follow me on all social media platforms for more information or inspiration go to my website at www.christinalockett.com be blessed